Hi, my name's Katie, artist, business coach, and founder of Step Up Create. And today we are going to look at what is a story? Now, most of us know what a story is. We think we know what a story is. We grew up with stories. We've been listening to them or reading them since we were really, really small. But what makes up a story? What goes into it? If you want to create one, if you want a recipe for making a story, what goes into it? Well, essentially, it's pretty simple. So the first thing that goes into it is a plot. These are the facts. This is what happens in the story, how the thing moves forward, who, what, when, where, why, um, all of that information that needs to be there in order for the story to make logical sense. But without anything else, it's not a story. It's not going to inspire people because it's going to be boring and we don't want more facts. We want some conflict, some emotion, all of the rest of it. So what do we add into this? We need characters. So we need characterization. This means that we are giving information about the main characters, particularly these fully rounded characters, the important ones in the story and helping the audience to identify with them, to really want to want those characters to do well and to overcome all these challenges and that includes if the character is us if i'm if my main character is me when i'm 14 i need to explain that character i need to go into some depth about who was i at 14 because that's not the same person that i am now or certainly not 100 percent so we're characterizing um different people in the story, making sure that we're giving enough detail. And this doesn't mean that you need to have a really long sentences and really, really detailed information, but being very specific about the information that we give to give it very quickly and have that almost like poetry, get the information of that character across. You've got rounded and flat characters in a story. There are flat characters. These are the cameo roles that come on that you don't need to paint you don't need the audience necessarily to know all about them maybe you want to give them some physical details so that they can imagine the characters better apart from characters we also need conflict so we need to know what's going on both inside the character's head and outside so where's the conflict coming from internal conflict is when we are also showing the internal conversation of that character so what was i saying to myself when i was 14 that was creating this conflict and i'm pretty sure there was quite a lot of conflict going on in my head okay so Internal conflict is that that's going on inside your head. External conflict is what's going on outside. What are these things that are coming up, you're coming up against that you need to overcome? Those conflicts and that balance between the conflict and overcoming those conflicts is really important in a story. The next thing that you need is change. So we need to show that there's been a development in the character from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. If there's no change, it's not interesting. These character arcs, if you watch anything on Netflix, you can just identify one of the characters at the beginning of the series and one of the characters, the same character at the end of the series, and look at how that character has changed over that period of time. That's exactly what you want to show, and this is where you're gonna show the purpose of your story. Through this change in, in your character or in another character, usually it's the main character, usually it's you, because we're using our own stories, and how has that change affected that character? All of that is still not enough to make an excellent story. Now you've got a story, but you haven't got an excellent story. In order to make it excellent, we need to be including things about emotions. We need to be including um, descriptions. So what did the place look like? We don't have to go into huge amounts of details on you know, what color was the wall or whatever. Just a few paintings. I can I kind of... Um, semi-abstract painting that is going to give enough information about that that area for the audience to imagine and the same with the characters so we're giving this color so that the audience can come on this journey with us and be imagining something similar to what we are trying to explain and we also need to include emotions emotions are the way that we are going to connect our audience and they are the moments where we are going to have the biggest impact and this is true in business storytelling as well so so many people say to me when i'm teaching storytelling yeah but this is a business story i don't, I don't want to go into emotions you need to go into emotions you don't need to break down and cry you don't need to tell the most personal story you have you've got or the, you you know when someone died or something like that but you need to show emotions. 
even if those are positive emotions or whatever, that's the way that we are gonna connect with the audience. The final thing that you need, obviously, is structure. So we can sort of have all of these things that we've, got, we've talked about so far and not structure it properly, and we'll lose the audience along the way. So you need to have a clear structure. Luckily, there are lots and lots of story structures, and I'll probably talk about that in another video, how we structure stories uh, for business and how we structure stories for, for other purposes. Um, but yeah, just pick one story structure, probably usually the hero's journey, um, this situation of where they're in this kind of situation, they come up against an inciting incident, something that makes everything change, they go off on a journey, there's all this conflict, they resolve the conflict, it reaches a climax, and there's some kind of, um, of resolution or moral at the end of it. What goes into making a good story? Plot, characters, conflict, change, description, emotion and story structure. Obviously there are a few more things as well, but I don't want to give it all away. Um, the best thing to do is to just start practicing. Use that structure, go through and add all of those things into one of your stories, start practicing and get feedback off people and that way your stories will improve.